Hi everyone. In this video, I am trying to troubleshoot this problem. I have three applications installed on the same server or hosted on the same server. The first one is command prompt and the second one is MS Paint and the third one is Notepad. All these three applications are hosted on the same server. So I am trying to launch command prompt first. and it is trying to launch okay it launched successfully without any problems now let's try to launch ms paint which is also hosted on the same server it throws an error message saying that cannot start app ms paint click ok now let's try to launch a notepad application as well which is also hosted on the same server like like other applications and let's see how it goes all right it is trying to launch okay it launched successfully without any problems so let us go and troubleshoot why MS Paint is not launching because the other applications are working which are on the same server but MS Paint is not working. Now let's go back to Citrix Studio and uh, uh, check the status of the virtual machine or the uh, server. So server is in registered state and we could launch the applications which are hosted on the same server. So there is no problem from the server side like the services are up and running fine. So this is something to do with the individual application. So in this scenario what we can do is we can just try to go to applications and check the status of all applications. So we have command prompt here and we also have we also have MS Paint and Notepad application. So if you see the status of command prompt, it says enabled. And if you see the status of MS Paint, for whatever reason, someone has disabled it. It's in disabled status. Okay. And if you see the status of Notepad application, it is an enabled state. So I believe that the problem could be because someone has disabled the status of MS Paint to uh, a disabled state. So that's a reason why we couldn't uh, launch the application. So let's uh, try to enable this application and see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to enable this application. Okay, now it is an enabled state. Now let's go back to the storefront server. Okay, now let's try to launch MS Paint and see how it goes this time. Okay, it is trying to launch. Perfect, it launched successfully at this time. So here is the thing guys, so whenever you get these kind of issues like when you uh, you know get an incident saying that some application is not launching, if you could launch other applications on the same server then this is not an issue with the server because you could launch other applications and the services are fine. And if you are not able to launch a single application, then it has to do something with the application. You need to check whether uh, whether the application is getting launched from the server or not. That is one thing you can check. And the other one is you can check the settings on the Citrix Studio, whether the uh, application is in enabled state or disabled state. So for whatever reason, uh, sometimes you know the legacy applications you know if you sometimes in the real production environment you might get uh, a request from a maintenance manager or the server owner asking to disable some particular application because of it is not in use or whatever it is and then uh, the other people in the team would uh, you know disable it after taking the proper approvals 
but what happens is like some user who is uh, uh, you know trying to launch this particular application uh, he could not launch that application anymore because the application has been uh, you know disabled for some reasons okay but if he's even though it is disabled but if the user still sees the application if it is not hidden if the application is not hidden then he would be seeing the application on the screen and if he clicks on it he can't access it access it and he would uh, you know raise an incident or he would uh, get in touch with help desk to find out what is actually happening so if uh, if you are disabling the application you have to make sure that you should hide the application as well otherwise users would uh, click on it and then when they click on it and if they can't launch it they would uh, you know uh, raise an incident so in this particular scenario uh, someone has uh, you know disabled this particular application that's why user couldn't launch this application but once the application is enabled uh, we could launch it successfully without any issues so you can do this troubleshooting steps when you can this when you get these kind of issues in the real-time environment so i hope you find this information helpful if you have any questions please leave a comment thank you very much